Well, my name is Frank Turk, D-U-R-K, and I was the uh, former superintendent of the South Coast School at one time. And it was back in 89 through 91. And uh, I was here for about two years, and that was uh, because I received an offer that was really just too good to turn down. And so uh, they gave me opportunity uh, as an oral dropout because I couldn't speak uh, that uh, this would be a chance to show the world that uh, someone who doesn't speak worth anything can still be just as successful if not more successful than anyone else who could hear. So, uh, ever since the deaf president now movement, it's called the DPN, uh, occurred in 1988 <laughs> at Allen University. Deaf and hard of hearing people all over the world are trying to tell people, tell everyone, that any deaf person can do anything except hear. My goals as the superintendent <laughs> South Coast School for the Deaf was to spend maybe a good five years trying to develop a manual of types or, or something, um, maybe some video materials or whatever the case may be, on how to educate a whole child. When I say a whole child, I mean a child from head to toe in, a, in their entirety. Because I believe all kids have the potential and should be given the opportunity to learn and to grow in five different essential areas of development and education. First of all, socially. Secondly, physically. Third, intellectually, fourth, emotionally, and uh, fifth, communicatively. So all five uh, words put together are the acronym SPICE. Spicing up uh, a person's education, spicing up their life, so that they can succeed in whatever way, big or small, uh, possible. The concept here is that it's just as important to develop a deaf, deaf child personally as it is to develop them intellectually. Both should be equally important. And we call that the fourth R in education. The first three, of course, are traditional. Three R's of education, uh, but they don't teach a person how to live. But the fourth R is being resourceful, or teaching resourcefulness. That makes up for where the other three fail, and all of them together make the deaf child whole. I think for this school in particular, because. I left earlier than what I originally anticipated because of the position that was offered to me in North Carolina. I was preparing to develop the fourth R in, in a programmatic way through extracurricular activities that were integrated with the total, tool, the total school curriculum. Our hope was that it would be so successful that other schools nationwide would emulate the same type of plan or program. Humorous stories or memories, I guess. Uh, one of my first experiences as a person who would be totally responsible for everything out of school, A to Z. Including all of the academics, uh, all of the compliance issues, and rules and regulations, 
things that would be expected of a superintendent. I didn't have that kind of experience prior to coming to South Dakota. I was involved with uh, running certain programs, but uh, mostly in the area of student life. And, uh, I usually had reported to a number of bosses, but this was the type of a position where I was the top boss. I was the top guy. And that was a new experience. Uh, it was up to me to make uh, all the calls. And, uh, you know, I know the whole legislative experience uh, was somewhat new, and, uh, but I did find through one of my experiences that uh, I had those things uh, within me. Just never was presented with the opportunity to put a lot of those things into practice. And, uh, I have become dependent on other bosses or other managers that work alongside me. But by me being the person in charge, I came to understand fully who I am as an administrator and as a leader. And so that was very beneficial. Deafness to me uh, has been personally a, dis a blessing in disguise. Very happy with where I'm at, with my disability. I've never really been in a position where I wanted to hear or felt the need to hear. I've never had problems with hearing people because of the disability, and I don't think that people have had a problem with me in much the same way. I think the important thing is that we all work together so that we can mutually benefit uh, all of us, uh, both of us, uh, both groups. We have to grow in mutual respect and trust, and that uh, is the kind of thing that lasts throughout a lifetime.